Clingman's Dome in the Great Smoky Mountains. A lot of you know about this tower, and some of you don't. But do you know how it got its name? Do you know who built it, who designed it, when it got started? There's a lot of history behind this old tower, and I'm going to share a little bit of it with you. It's such a beautiful place. Now there's all kinds of little video on this tower in the Smoky Mountains, but I'm going to give my version of it. Now, a lot of people that I've already know seen that, but outside of these mountains, a lot of people, even in this country, has never heard of this place, never been here. And a lot of people around the world have never even heard of this place. So I'm going to share it just to share what I know about it and some of its old history. Now it's located right here in a place like this right here. Right on the Tennessee and North Carolina state line in the southern part of the Appalachian. You can see the park here, the Great Smoky Mountain. It is a vast place and it is nothing but wilderness, most of it. Now people, it's hard to believe, but the Great Smoky Mountains has 15 million visitors a year. That's right, I said it, 15 million. No other park in the country comes close. And if you don't believe me, just research it and you'll see. And this old park, it's so beautiful. These mountains, though they're not the rocky, but they're so beautiful. And it holds a lot of mystery and secrets in these old mountains, too. All these places. Now, right here, the place I'm talking about, Clemens Dome, is right on the borderline between Tennessee and North Carolina. Right here's a map of it. No, it's not the tallest. Mount Mitchell, about 30, 40 miles east of it, is the tallest point in the Smokies, or the mountain. It's in the Black Mountain. Here's where they're two located at, Mount Mitchell and Clemens Dome. And just below Clemens Dome is the old Appalachian Trail that goes from Georgia all the way to Maine. And they say you can see seven states from here on a clear day. I know I can see my home, the Cumberland Mountain, on a clear day from here. Now these old, this old Clemens Dome, it's seen a lot of visitors in a lot of time. It's 63 years old now. And they just got through renovating it here just a while back. Now here is a drawing of Kremlin's Dome. It was designed and built in 1959 by architects out of Knoxville called Bev and Olson. They built and designed this thing. And the construction company out of North Carolina built it. Here's some old pictures of them built it back in the day. Old pictures. And they still do a lot of maintenance on it here and there. Weather takes its toll up here on top of this mountain. It's high up. This is what she looked like when they finished it. Now here's some old pictures of when it was first opened up, first few years. Beautiful old pictures. Now keep in mind, when you're up 6,000 feet, down in the valley, it may be 85 degrees, but well, it'll be 65 degrees up here. I've always noticed it's about 20 degrees colder up here. And in wintertime, you get a snow down low in the valleys, an inch or two, it may be a foot or more up here on top of this mountain. Whole different weather system. These are just old pictures back the first few years it was open. Now 
Now, how it got its name, I've always wondered that myself. But I reckon the way it got its name, they named it after a U.S. Senator from North Carolina that played a big role in settling this area after the Native Americans was left on the Trail of Tears. And his name was Thomas Clemens just before the Civil War. And that's how it got its name. Now the Native Americans, the Cherokee, eastern band of the Cherokees is just over the mountain on the North Carolina side in a place called Cherokee, North Carolina. An Indian reservation. This is where they're this is where they're located. And they they escaped from the Trail of Tears, but that's another video. But anyway, this is their home. All this country was their home. All these mountains, they were sacred to these people. And they still are today. Now these old mountains always has a haze to it. So beautiful, blue looking. Now the Native Americans called it Shikana Hay. It means a place of blue smoke. And they're exactly right. That's what it always looks like. An old blue smoky haze off in the distance in these old mountains. And they, they want to change the name. It's in the process of changing the name of Cleveland's Dome to Kowalahay. That means mulberry place. They're, they voted, the tribe did the vote to try to process of changing the name to this name up there at Cranman's Dome. Now this old trail, I'm gonna show you some pictures where I was here back in the early summer morning. Walking this trail, it's a half a mile walk up there. And then climb, you just take your time, especially when you get a little age on you. This is what it looks like up to tire some of my pictures. It's such a beautiful place. East, looking to the east. So beautiful. Looking to the north. It's not a real clear day. Looking to the south. You can see for hundreds of miles, 200 miles on a clear day. And this place makes its own weather too. A different atmosphere up here in these mountains. Now along the trail here, going up to it, coming down, beautiful sights, wildlife everywhere. And here it is looking off. You can see the parking lot where you parked and walked up from there in the upper left-hand corner. Pretty good little walk, but it's nothing. Just so beautiful to see. Now, there is one kind of like, they call it a secret, but just people just don't know about it. It's not really out there on the map, but it's there. There's a little tunnel that goes under the road that goes to Kremlin's Dome. Not far from the parking lot. Looks like this. They say it's under Kremlin Dome, but it's not. It's under the road. It goes from one side of the road to another on an old mule trail back when the CCCs built this place back in the 30s. So this was here way before Kremlin Dome was ever built. This was just connecting the trail from one side of the ridge to the other under the road. Here's an old picture of it when the CCCs had made it a long time ago. You drive right over it and don't know it's there. I've drove over it many times not knowing it's there. But there it is, and you can see the road goes over top of it. So there that is. Now there's a lot of history here. It's so beautiful up here. 
This is just a fraction of the places you can see in these great smoky mountains of the history. So I hope you enjoy. So I want to thank you for watching. God bless. And I'll see you next time.